so today I'm going to show you how to make what's on my head which is a another crown because I'm obsessed with different kinds of crowns like for fall I made my fall leaf crown which I love but it is time for something wintry so I thought I would do a poinsettia crown which is um, like a very wintry holiday flower um, so I just thought it would be a really cute crown and I'm quite happy with it actually I hope you guys enjoy it just made out of felt headband and a few beads and some hot glue and so you might already have all the stuff you need let's just get right into it so go ahead and print out and cut out the pattern or make your own and go ahead and lay out the poinsettia pieces on your red felt. I cut out five big ones and five small ones, so I'd have five total poinsettias. And I just used a pen to trace it out on the felt. It was just much easier to cut out. And just place the small one on top of the big one and using a needle and thread you're going to attach them together and what I did was actually I stitched like a small little circle in the middle with some loose stitches to kind of try to gather it a little bit just to give it a little bit more shape but we can give it more shape um, when we're adding it to the crown but this is just to kind of give it a base shape When you're finished with your circle, go ahead and kind of pull it tight, and then you can kind of see, and tie it off. And then just using the same needle and thread that I was using earlier, just go ahead and add on a few beads. I believe I used five on each poinsettia. And these are just little gold beads. And I'm just stitching them on one at a time. You can also use just little bits of yellow felt if you want. And now for the leaves, I just used the leaf pattern and trace it out on some green fabric, but I uh, recommend felt. I didn't have any, so I just used this. And I believe I cut out six. And now take your headband, and I just went ahead and glued a leaf on either side. So I did everything, if I did one to one side, I would go ahead and do it to the other, just so it was as symmetrical as possible. So just starting with one side, I just glued on a leaf. And then I repeat to the other side, and then I start adding the flowers on. So starting with the first flower, just add some glue to the middle and place it on the headband and let that sit for a minute and then now you can kind of start shaping it a little bit so you can kind of have put some folds in and just kind of glue it wherever you want to give it some more dimension because I didn't like how flat they looked so I just thought they needed some more dimension to them so just I just like glued down some folds here and there and just you know And just play with it. It took me a little while to get it where I liked it. And then I went ahead and did the other side. And then I added a leaf on either side again. And then the two more poinsettias. And then two more leaves in the middle. And then one poinsettia right in the middle. And 
And after they were all on, I just kind of played with it for a bit um, to get it how I liked it. And then you're finished. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, the pattern for the poinsettias, if you want to use my pattern, I will have that up on my blog on the pattern section because there's a, there's a tab marked uh, free patterns and so that, it will just be under that, probably the first one up. And so just go ahead and print that off if you want to use that. If you make this crown or anything from my previous projects, please go ahead and um, post a picture to social media using the hashtag P-H-E-R-O-I-L-O. That's my username, that's why I can see it. And like it and comment. I love to see when you guys make my stuff, it makes me so happy. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below. And if you'd like to see more from me, then please subscribe. And if you have any requests for any holiday kind of tutorials or videos, just go ahead and let me know and I'll try to get that up for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye!